Hey there folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Spider-Man No Way Home Iron Spider figure. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I am a slight bit frustrated because I just got done editing the video only to realize that I accidentally deleted the clip of the uh, accessory segment. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to move this guy right out of the way. This guy's pretty cool because he comes with some unique stuff that we haven't really seen before. But let's go over some of the stuff that we have seen first. We got this sort of curved webbing. This is the older style of webbing since then uh, SH Figuarts has upgraded to newer styles. But this is the previous style. You get this nice round swinging web. You get these longer thwip webs, which I do like SH Figuarts' webs because they're nice and sturdy. They're not super detailed, but you don't have to really worry about them warping in the package or anything like that. They're nice and strong, so you get your short clips as well. But with this one, you get something a little bit different. You get this uh, kind of funnel piece, so you can use this to attach to something, and then you get this second piece that breaks off for, uh, I don't know, if you wanted to use it to attach to something as Spider-Man swinging, uh, sw swinging something around, I suppose. And with this accessory, you also get something else that's really unique, which is the um, these two hands molded as one. I really, really, really like this. I would love to see other companies start doing this because it makes your swinging poses look even better. Just because things are tight and not moving around, it's just very, very nice. It's a little bit difficult to plug it in at the same time, so you want to be careful using this accessory to not break your wrist joints or anything like that. So do be careful. Here's a pair of web grippers, a pair of fists, little baby fists, a pair of thwip hands, a pair of, uh, you know, the call me sign hands. I, I forget what else these are called, but, you know, you get your cowabunga dude type of hands. You get a neck. Now, mine has a little bit of glue on it because when I first got the black and gold figure, I broke the head sculpt. I, I broke... Where is it? I broke this guy's head, the, the peg on this guy's neck, on the head, so... I had to drill out the head, and then I had to make every other ball a little bit thicker for um, some friction. So there is glue on this, but you get the um, the bare neck. You don't get the head sculpt, but if you have the black and gold figure, then you can pop the head sculpt on there. I'll show you that later on in the video. You get a little back piece that you can swap out when you take the Waldos off. Then you get a, a pry tool for your eyes. And then you get a back piece. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this back piece is the one that comes with it. I don't think it does because it has a shape, an odd shape to it. But I don't have another back piece that has this small of a peg. So I don't know where the one that went to this figure went or went to because I keep everything together. So it's very frustrating. But nonetheless, if you buy this figure, you will get a back piece that connects to a flight stand and then into the back of the figure. So it might not be this one, but you do get one. And then you get your tray of eyes, you get a set of wide open eyes, medium eyes, and then you get your insta-kill eyes, and then of course you get your regular eyes on the figure. So, that is the accessories. Alright guys, so as far as this figure goes, I really enjoy it. And as far as the Iron Spider suit goes, I do like the suit, but I don't have very many figures based off the suit. I don't have any, any of the Marvel Legends figures, and the only other one that I have is the Infinity War. Mafex figure and this one I actually got after this one um so I don't have the previous two SH figure arts ones even though I would like to get them and I don't have the end game Mafex and like I said I don't have any of the SH figure arts or the uh, Marvel Legends ones this one's my favorite I really really like this I really like the build that Mafex gives Peter I really like this build this one's kind of in between the homecoming build and the um, upgraded suit build it's a little bit in between that so I really like that one but I like this one a lot it's very strong it's very sturdy this is their third time at it so they got the paintwork down pat it's perfect I really really enjoy this guy he's got nice strong Waldos they might be too thick I'm not entirely sure the ones that the Mafex came with are a lot thinner um but even if they are too thick which I'm not sure if they are and if they will if they are, I don't really care about that. They still look really nice. They're way more accurate than the ones that the Infinity War SHV Yards came with. So that's really cool. And the whole back piece just kind of plugs out. 
uh, like this, and then you get a little back piece for it. And this is what I was talking about, this little port right here. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty certain that this is the one that goes with it. All the other ones have a bigger peg, but this one doesn't want to go in it. If I'm mistaken, I don't know where the one that came with it is, because I always keep my stuff together, so I find that very confusing. But <clears throat> actually, let's take this off and take a look at the Waldos. As far as the Waldos go, you get a couple of pieces of our points of articulation. You get a ball joint right here, so you can wiggle it, or you can wiggle it. You can rotate it at the base, and you can rotate it at the arm, as well as you get a pivot, so that's really nice. Um, and then you get one knuckle right here, one knuckle right here, and then you get another one down here. So these, you can really get them in any sort of configuration that you want. The only limitation I find is that they kind of don't really stretch out. Like they don't fully stretch out because they got these backs on them. Um, I don't know if that would really inhibit anybody's posing, but it is like that. But I think these guys are really sharp. I like the paintwork on them. Like I said, nice and sturdy. They feel pretty good. They also, you know, if you want to use the bottom ones, you can also use them to help balance the figure. I usually have this figure posed in the scene from Noe Home where he uh, just gets out of the car and he shows his arms. When Doc Ock says, I should have killed your little girlfriend when I had the chance. And Peter, the way Peter's kind of crouched there with the arms, I really like that. So I have him posed like that. And the arms do a nice job of uh, helping him balance or whatever. He doesn't really need to balance when he's in a crouch pose, but they do help. Let me actually just put this back on it. But yeah, guys, the paintwork on this dude is pretty stellar. Really, really sharp. Some of my favorite Spider-Man figures are the ones that just have really good paint. Um, my Figma Amazing Spider-Man figure is one of my favorites, and it doesn't have the best sculpted work in terms of its anatomy. It kind of looks weird. And it doesn't have the best articulation. It's got those disc joints and stuff. So it's a little bit strange. But the paintwork on it really, really brings it home for me. And compared to the first Infinity War one, it's night and day. As far as this one goes, it's not painted quite as well as the Mafex Endgame one. Um, but between these two, this one's night and day. It's very, very nice. Unfortunately, it has that sort of thinner anatomy that the earlier SH figure arts have. I'm really partial to the body that they gave the Far From Home figures. This is the upgraded suit from Noe Home, but it's mostly the same build as the Far From Home figures. So I'm I'm partial to this, but the majority of the figures share this style of anatomy. And then of course they <clears throat> they aged him up with the second release of the integrated suit, so he's a little bit bigger. So if you want one that's not quite so small, then the Mafex might be the route, or even the Marvel Legends. Uh, but this guy, by himself, I think is just really, really nice. He does have the blue eyes this time around. I think the previous one might have had white eyes. I'm not entirely sure. And these are the same gauntlets that you get with the integrated suit, the first release. And it's got that same sort of hip joints that we're used to. I personally don't mind it when it's done properly. There's only two figures that actually bothers me, and it's the, the Toby figure because they're too loose. And then this one because it's cut like an actual diaper. Like, most people have a problem with the thong, but I feel like the majority of the time, SH Figure Arts hides it really well. Like, this doesn't bother me at all. It's very slimming, and it looks appealing to me. This is just a disaster, in my opinion. Like, the way that the hips come in, and the way that the uh, uh, the waist, and then the hips, and then the shape of it, it doesn't work. This figure does a much better job, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at the articulation. As far as the head and neck combined, get him to look this far up. It's mostly with the neck, though, if I'm honest. The head itself doesn't really get a whole lot of up movement. And then downward, you get a lot. You get oh, lots, lots of attitude, and then you can rotate at both of those points. With the combined uh, shoulder and elbow arm joints, or shoulder and butterfly joints, you're only going to get him to really move his arms up that far. 
which isn't very good at all. But you get all this rotation in there, and then you get this rotation here at the shoulder, and then you get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then your wrist is a ball joint, so you can get that in any sort of configuration that you want. I don't know how I'm not noticing these figures not being able to move their arms all the way up. What was the one that I just reviewed? I think it was the Andrew Garfield figure, where I didn't realize how limiting his shoulders were. Anyway, with the combined waist and diaphragm joints, you can get him to crunch down this far. Back just a little bit. You can get more if you use the legs, I suppose. And uh, with the legs, you can get him to move out this far. Oop. If you move the um, crotch piece out of the way, you can get him to raise his leg up this far. Back all the way. Thigh rotation. Double jointed knees. If you get it proper, you can get it that much. Ankle rotation. Ankles move down that far. Up that far. Ankle pivot. And then you get an ankle rocker. So yeah, guys, he's got his standard, he's got the standard SH figure arts articulation. He's a little bit limited in the shoulders. To be fair, he does have these big chonky um, shoulder pads on. But that is pretty, that is pretty limiting. Like I said, I never noticed, but I mean, you can get this, there's other ways to get your arm up that far. I think with some figures, you can kind of get away with it. Um, like I said, I didn't even notice, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I personally really, really recommend this guy. He's still on Big Bad Toy Store's website. Um, he's still pretty pricey though. His, uh, price didn't really drop like the black and gold figure per se, but he's a really nice addition. Let me do this. I will show you guys what the unmasked head looks like. Now, if you got the end game version, then you would have gotten the actual head sculpted with it, but with this one you just get the neck. So, I'll show you what this guy is. looks like with that. So there you go. I would say that the hairstyle on this guy is more sort of based off of Infinity, or Endgame. His face isn't really dirty, but the way his hair's parted, it does kind of remind me of Infinity War, or the end of Endgame. So it doesn't look too bad. I do like this um, Tom Holland head sculpt for the most part. My favorite is this one, at least import wise. And then they upscaled it for the new Infinity or the new integrated suit. This one is better, but yeah. So let's take a look at size, uh, some size comparisons. All right, guys, so for the first size comparison here, we have the Marvel Legends Infinity War Iron Spider on the left and the Spider-Man Far From Home Stealth Suit Spider-Man on the right. For your second size comparison, here he is compared to the Marvel Legends, or excuse me, the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man No Way Home Upgraded Suit Spider-Man on the left and the Spider-Man Homecoming Stark Suit on the right. For your third size comparison, here he is compared to the both versions of the integrated suit from SH Figure Arts. On the left is the first version, and on the right is the Final Battle version. Here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Black and Gold Spider-Man and the Mafex Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man on the right. All right, guys, for your last size comparison, here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man No Way Home, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, and the Sentinel Peter B. Parker. Uh, so I think that's about it, guys. <clears throat> I personally really recommend this figure. If you can get him, I would go ahead and do it. He's probably the best um, Iron Spider figure to date, except for maybe the Infinity War or the Endgame Mafex figure. I haven't gotten that one in person yet, though. He does uh, lose out on some things. If you pick this one over the in, uh, Endgame version from SH Figure Arts, you miss out on the actual Peter head sculpt and you miss out on the Nanotech gauntlet. But for me... I don't need another Tom Holland head sculpt, and also I don't really care about the Nanotech Gauntlet, so I was completely fine getting this version. So if you are like me and you agree that you don't really need a Nanotech Gauntlet, then I guess this is the best option. Um, so yeah, it's definitely recommended, but let me move this guy out of the way. But uh, yeah, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, all that would be greatly appreciated if you decide to do so. And of course, until next time, 
true believers.